Lesson 10. Pleasing Personality Pleasing personality is the fulcrum on which you must level your efforts to enable you to remove mountains of obstacles. This lesson will teach you to transform your personality so that you may adapt yourself to any environment or to any other personality in such a manner that you may easily dominate. Your personality is the sum total of your characteristics and appearances which distinguish you from all others. It includes the clothes you wear, the lines in your face, the tone of your voice, the thoughts you think, the character you have developed by those thoughts, etc. The art of attracting people using your personality can be cultivated. By interesting the client you wish to sell to with words about himself and his own interests, you can make a sale by presenting the matter differently than other salesmen. Not any sort of cheap flattery will bring you genuine interest. You need to find something about other people that you really admire. Pleasing personality works hand in hand with imagination and cooperation. By bringing people together and selling their ideas to other people, you can make money as a middleman. Your brains and your ability, when added to that of those who work with or for you, will greatly increase their earnings capacity, even to the extent that they can well afford to see you make a small amount from their efforts because they will still be earning much more than they could earn without your guidance. When you want to get out of the employee class to become an employer, the first step to take is to serve the firm or individual for whom you are working just as you would wish to be served if you were that individual or the head of that firm. You want to shorten the route between the producer and the consumer, so your money is partly the one saved by the consumer and partly the one earned by the producer. When you are trying to convince someone, it would be a mistake to talk too soon about the action you wish this person to take. You have to marshal your suggestions step by step. You need to present your argument in the viewpoint of the person you are trying to sell to. This way, you can present a case that seems to be the listener's idea as much as yours, if not more. There are three steps to take to ensure you have a pleasing personality. One. Like described in Lesson 2, choose the qualities you want to have and develop them with the use of auto-suggestion. 2. Like described in Lesson 8, control your thoughts with the use of self-control and let the dominating thought in your mind to be the picture of the person you want to be and are deliberately building. 3. Find at least one person each day, and more if possible, in whom you see good quality that is worthy of praise and praise it. Remember that this praise must not be in the nature of cheap, insincere flattery. Speech is the chief method of expressing your personality. Hence, you should develop a voice that is rhythmical and pleasing to the ear. A pleasing personality is also made up, in part, of the ability to speak with force and conviction. In sum, there are seven factors to an attractive personality. 1. Form the habit of interesting yourself in other people and make it your business to find their good qualities and speak of them in terms of praises. 2. Develop the ability to speak with force and conviction. 3. Clothe yourself in a style that is becoming to your physical build and the work in which you are engaged. 4. Develop a positive character. 5. Learn how to shake hands so that you express warmth of feeling and enthusiasm through this form of greeting. 6. Attract other people to you at first by attracting yourself to them. 7. Remember that your only limitation, within reason, is the one which you set up in your own mind.